think that there are many diets out there that have wonderful uh, things to contribute. <coughs> And that there's actually a lot of overlap, that many of these diets, Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, South Beach diet, are all saying a lot of the same thing. And uh, on another, no on another note, uh, every body type is different. That there's there's uh, another diet that I highly recommend. It's called instinctive diet. Okay? Uh, and there are um, <laughs> as many kinds of this diet as there are people. And that every body type is unique and different. Okay, we're getting a little esoteric here, which I like, but we want to go back to fats. I really want to cover this subject thoroughly because it's a critical one to understand to really take your health all the way. Hugely misunderstood. It's been really thoroughly ingrained into our consciousness that we need to uh, minimize our fats, that fats make you fat. Old model. Okay. Actually, there is a side of that can be true. We'll talk about that in a moment. But that it's all a matter of the right fats. That fats are critical for your survival. That on a low-fat diet for more than a couple of weeks, your health will suffer. And actually, many people have lost weight by going on a low-fat diet for a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. You lose fat. The reason is this. Here's the chemistry. When you go on a low-fat diet, your body begins to burn your own fat reserves as fuel. You know that your body isn't just running on carbohydrates for fuel. Your body also runs on fat as fuel. Certain, certain fats burn I, the, the exact same way as carbohydrates, that it's fuel. That's all. Okay. Now, fats are, are, I consider, one of the most crucial elements for your survival. Here's why. Fat-soluble nutrients. Fat soluble nutrients. That means that it, there actually needs to be fat present in your diet for a certain nutrient, like magnesium, for example, to be absorbed by the body. That you could have 100% of your magnesium, but not absorb any of it if there's no fat present to serve as that catalyst in your body. Okay, so that's that, that's critical right there. Also, the old saying, "You are what you eat." It's more literally true than we give it credit. Cells in the body always dying always being reborn. That your body is using the foods that you're taking in to build new tissues in the body. That joints, certain organs in the body, are made from fat. That your body's using fat in your diet to rebuild these, these damaged tissues, to, to uh, constantly be regenerating. Uh, the brain. The brain's an important organ. 80% fat by volume. The brain is 80% fat by volume. One of the first things to suffer is neurological health on a low-fat diet. So, what are the right fats? What are the right fats? In a nutshell, good news, raw unheated fats, okay, raw unheated fats. Let's talk chemistry for a moment, here's why. Uh, first of all, don't despair, I'm not saying you need to be exclusively raw foodist. I do feel that some cooked grains, steamed vegetables from time to time is perfectly fine. Um, yes that being exclusively raw has some advantages, that you're getting more enzymatic activity from your foods. Uh, many, many nutrients break down under heat and are lost. Uh, but with fats, here's why it's, it's, it's especially important, okay? That fats, when they break down, well, first of all, all foods break down under heat. Carbohydrates break down, uh, uh, proteins, fats, some nutrients. And, and uh, the problem with fats is this, that fats are literally breaking apart on the atomic level. What's happening is electrons are breaking off of atoms. Okay, electrons breaking off of atoms, we refer to these in chemistry as free radicals. We've all heard it. We've heard this term, free radicals. We get free radicals from many things, from too much exposure from the sun, from microwaves, automobiles, stress, volcanoes. The body's been receiving free radicals since the beginning of time. A moderate amount of free radicals is not a problem. That your body is incredibly healing and regenerative and you're ingesting antioxidants from food and you're breathing oxygen. And, uh, that uh, antioxidants from these other sources in moderation is not a big deal. The body can heal. However, the problem with ingesting these free radicals from fats so you're ingesting these free electrons that are literally zinging around the body, and it dampens your energy. The, the critical problem is this. The first effect, it suppresses the thyroid function. 
suppresses the thyroid. Many people suffer from uh, underactive thyroids, and then I, I name num I name cooked fats uh, cause number one. And we all know how important the thyroid is. That gauges your metabolism. Metabolism gauges if, if you suppress your metabolism from cooked fats. Absolutely, just law of nature. Uh, weight goes up. So, what to do? Add more raw and heated fats to your diet. Displace eating the cooked fats and uh, raw fats like cold pressed oils. I'm especially fond of olive oil, coconut oil, sesame, raw nuts and seeds, pr preferably sprouted, avocados, olives. And that actually, that is a crucial ingredient for weight loss, actually. Uh, that uh, when your body is receiving um, ample fats, that uh, your body uh, begins to use these fats as fuel the same way as carbohydrates. Even your brain runs on what are called ketones produced from fat. And that um, again, if, if you try to, if you, if you actually, and here's another point, that fats are deeply, deeply satiating and satisfying, much like nutrients. That your body just has, has instinctive wisdom that it knows just how important the fats are. And so that when you're getting uh, ample fats, um, that it, it really is, is appetite control as well. And actually it really protects you from overeating. And uh, that's why amp sufficient fats in the diet is so important for, for weight loss. Oh, good news, actually. Uh, for if and when you ever do cook with fats, I know this might be a bad word, cook, because we're at Raw Spirit Festival, uh, but uh, I think most of us probably have cooked foods from time to time. And I think it's important for us to know that for if and when you do have cooked fats, there are two that are totally heat stable. They don't produce these thyroid suppressing free radicals. One is coconut, the other is ghee. Okay? Butter oil, also called clarified butter. That for if and when you ever do any stir frying, sauteing, baking, whatever, that flavor wise they work with everything. Uh, you do lose some beneficial properties from coconut when you cook it. You all know that uh, coconut actually is, is high in lauric acid, a very rare nutrient. Um, and uh, lauric acid is actually a thyroid stimulator, isn't that counterintuitive? A saturated fat that helps the body to lose weight. Personally, I have to moderate with my coconut oil intake. Because if I eat too much coconut, it revs my, my metabolism. I become a beanful. <laughs>